I do want to talk about is what you can do within your IRA or within your accounts here at Mountain West IRA and what we're seeing clients doing right now, which is a ton of promissory notes. Diana, what's a promissory note? So a promissory note is basically you, your IRA lending money to someone for something. Um, they can be secured. They can be unsecured. Uh, unsecured, I don't normally. Not, I not your I tell people do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. But uh, secured uh, promissory notes can be an outstanding way to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. Um, I've seen our clients do it. It's really kind of impressive, and it's it's actually really fun when they come back in with that check, and it's like, hey, I got this back. I got to do another one. Um, I have seen people do promissory notes for as little as 8% uh, percent return, and I've seen them do it for as much as 15%, and um, I'm pretty sure we've seen some higher ones. But sometimes if they're doing it with a flipper where um, – the IRA owner is lending to someone who specifically needs funds to complete a renovation of a house so that they can turn around and sell it. Um, they secure it with the house, so they're lending money on that, and they not only get an interest rate, but sometimes they write into it that they will also get a certain percentage of the profits over a certain amount. And that's what's really amazing about a promissory note, is you get to write the terms. You get to say how long it's going to be or how quickly they have to pay it back or if they're going to pay it back all the way along or only pay interest or if it's just going to be, I'm going to lend you this money and when the house sells, you're going to pay me back this much percent and this much percentage of the profits. It's um, it's really cool. And it's you a, don't have to do the work. Nope. It is like a total freedom on how to um, set up your your retirement account and actually get the investment that you want and get it in a way that it could be secured by a property or by commercial equipment or something that, uh, what I like to say, something that doesn't disappear quickly. Um, so then that way, if something were to ever go wrong, you do have recourse against that person who borrowed from you. And then you're able to actually, um, whether it's like owning a house or you're able to get the house or um, we've had people um, secure it with commercial equipment and they were able to basically go sell off the commercial equipment to um, put the money back in their IRA if something ever were to happen. Now, the great stories when stories go great and it's a win-win-win situation, which are my personal favorite, and what I do within my IRA mostly is promissory notes. And the promissory note is actually, like you get to write it all out. Like Diana was saying, you get to make the rules you get to decide on the due dates. You get to decide everything. Mountain West IRA does not give advice and we don't have these investments. So all we do is make sure it's titled correctly so that the, if the IRS for any reason were to audit your account and if you were to have to ever go to court, it's all laid out perfectly so that your IRA owns this asset and receives the tax deferred or tax free benefits from it. Mm -hmm. so promissory, uh, promissory notes got, got excited. Promissory notes are cool. They're so cool and they're exciting because you don't have to do the work. Like, like Diana was saying, you get to lend as the bank, you don't have to do any of the work, anything like that. So um, just as a quick question, Diana, because we get this question all the time with people who, like me get excited about promissory notes but don't know next where to go. A promissory note, um, do you, do we keep those on, on file, like templates or something people can use? We don't, but a lot of times if you're working with a realtor or working through a company that's then using your funds to go through, they'll do. And you know what? You can also find one online. If no. you Google it, you Don't can find attorney. you can find Don't something to start with. But if you're doing something that is secured with property, I really, really think it's a good time to talk to that attorney. Yeah. So the attorney yeah, one signed up really good and ironclad and yeah. Yeah. So the attorneys are able to um, always when it has to go legal stuff contracts. Attorneys are the best resource to go to because you are able to um, make sure that if for any reason you did have to go to court, then you'll have um, the best contract in place. Um, and I really, really recommend going to talk to an attorney. And it's not expensive to get a, a promissory note created and it's worth every penny to have um, an attorney behind it and review it. Um, 
for sure. Title companies can help too. What? Title companies. Oh, title companies can help as well. So they may may be able to help you more. Um, title companies with an attorney on staff is always another great option that I've seen people use. Yeah. So yeah, making sure that we are getting the best up to date information as possible. Okay. Then another question for you. Can I lend to myself? No, that would be not allowed at all. That's a prohibited transaction. You can't do self-dealing and you also cannot lend to um, anyone who is a prohibited person. Um, you can't lend to linear family members. That would be parents, grandparents, um, children, grandchildren, and anyone married to the children or grandchildren. Straight up and down that old family tree. Um, you can go sideways. You can write a promissory note to your brother. So everything and anytime somebody <laughs> comes to us and says they want to do a promissory note with somebody in their family, I just like to go with like worst case scenario thoughts. And I know it's kind of hard right now to always go worst case scenario, but worst case scenario, if you ever had to foreclose, I just like to remind people, you may have to foreclose on this person. Would you be comfortable foreclosing on the person that you are writing a note to? And if so, Go on right ahead. If not, maybe you want to think twice about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So promissory notes. Um, we talked about who you can lend. Can you partner promissory notes? Like, let's say I wanted to invest a hundred thousand. I wanted to lend a hundred thousand. I only have 75, but my sister has 25. Can we make a hundred thousand dollar note? Um, that is a very good question. You can partner at the inception of a deal almost always. It has to be at the inception of the deal, at the start. It has to be on all the paperwork and all the money going out, all the money coming in has to stay at those percentages forever. So if they start repaying on the loan, you have to keep that percentage where 75% is going to you and 25% is going to the other lender. Yes. So promissory you can notes. Also lend to a non-person. What? You Tell can lend. More. You can lend to a company. Um, <laughs> if someone has an LLC set up and they do um, construction or they they do different uh, real estate things or whatever, you can lend to a company and they can also pay you back. So it's like a business loan. You can give them a loan, secure it with something. I think that's how that one person ended up with all that restaurant equipment. Um, and you know what, if you secure a loan, it doesn't have to be secured with what you are lending for. That is very true. Yes. Great point. So if someone needs $10,000 to do a major renovation or something, they don't have to secure it with the house. They can secure it with that lovely boat that they bought last year. And, um, keep in mind that at some point you may end up owning a boat inside your IRA, which is doable. You just can't use it. Um, you would have to either sell it or lease it out to people and then you get the income from that. But yeah, yeah. it doesn't have to be um, secured with what you are lending for. Yes. So that is a great point. Yeah, that's a great point. I know at one time um, we had a client who um, secured their note with something that actually couldn't be in an IRA and he had to immediately sell it so that the dividend can come back from the, the, the no, although it was something he couldn't own in the IRA. So it was something he needed to sell immediately, um, but to get the money back into the IRA. So he had some help from attorneys with that one, uh, making sure that it went as smooth as possible. But yeah, I love, I love that because you really can secure it with anything. Um, with promissory notes, so since Mountain West IRA does not provide the documents and you are going to go to an attorney to get the documents, um, what about like the limit on the loans? Like like um, the year limit, month limit, the amount, all of this information, can um, can, can I make that up? Um, we can't tell them what to do, but they can make those decisions. They can set the term of the loan. They can set the amount of the percentage that's coming back, uh, the interest rate. They can, they can have them pay points up front. Um, mm -hmm so that they're paying for the loan. And you can use that to cover any cost associated with you doing that. Prepayment um, penalties also. Yes. yes. So um, you can basically write it out in the way that works the best for you. 